I'm Blake from BA Electronics, and if you've seen this video, then you know that I like 3D printing. And I found something that I 3D printed. And it is a bladeless fan. Now, it doesn't really look like one right now, because it's in a lot of different parts, but I'm going to show you how I made it, how I put together all these parts. Now, I did not design the fan. Um, I'll link the designer down in the description so you can uh, check them out because you got to give them credit for this. It's pretty awesome. And I'm going to assemble it and also show you how I made it. So, uh, first I'm going to show you some time lapse shots of it actually making the device. So, let's get to that. Just for reference, the time lapse you're about to be seeing is sped up quite a lot. The original process took just over eight hours to complete. Alright, now that the parts are printed, we can start to assemble them together. First to assemble is the bottom stand, which also houses the fan. In this box that sits on the bottom, there are originally no holes here. I put those in for better airflow. You may want to do the same if you make one of these. In between the box and the stand, I put a 40mm fan in the gap. The instructions called for a 30mm fan which would have looked much better in this enclosure, but I didn't have one, so I modded the enclosure to make it fit a 40mm fan. Above the fan is where the tower stand is. I just sealed in the fan between these two pieces of the unit using hot glue. It seemed to have given a good airtight seal. After all the glue dried, I began to install the tower. This is the part where the air comes out. I put the multiplier insert into the back. It was a bit tricky, but it did go in. Next step was to attach it to the base. I used hot glue to seal the tower to the base also. There we go! My own bladeless fan for practically no money. There is one more step though. We have to get power to it somehow. I'll strip the leads on the ends of the wires on the fan and use this USB cable to power the 5 volt fan inside the unit from a computer or USB battery. Some soldering may be required to connect these wires up. It just depends on how you decide to connect your connections. Finally done. Let's go right, test it out. Alright, final test of the uh, of the fan. Got the uh, H4N here so that we can see if it will run and it turns on and it's blowing. Whoa, that's cool. Ha, ah, that's awesome. You can maybe hear it. Yeah, I'm sure you can hear it. Alright, so that's it. Um, cool little desk thing or something. Cool little desk fan. And uh, I guess I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Now that the far- Now that the farts are printed. <laughs> now that the far- uh, Not farts! Parts! For eight hours. Now that the f stop saying farts. Rendering time lapses is not my favorite thing to do in Premiere Pro.
don't render hour-long projects in Premiere. You'll be sitting here for hours.